Right, we're back with another update to the Dell Precision T3400. Um, after the last one, what was the last one I talked about? I think it was how the new cables, just here. Uh, I also had to replace the original splitter I had in there with this. And that just looks a bit neater, so... Like that. So it didn't. It didn't need me to have a like a a cable that I cut and had to put tape over. So at least this way it looks a bit neater, which is always good. Um, let me see if I, okay. So the purpose of this update is I have a new graphics card for it to replace the god awful AMD Radeon HD 3600, as it's apparently called, which has given me a bit of a headache to install. I finally did manage to get it installed with the driver and the catalyst control center. It took a while. Um, what I had to do was install the driver manually using the driver from the catalyst software and then install the catalyst software without the driver. So, yeah, that's a big pain in the ass that was. Um, but yeah, it did eventually work. But it's a poopy card. Um, I don't particularly want to sell it because I don't want somebody else to have the same problem that I did. Um, it wouldn't feel right. So, yeah, basically we're going to swap this card out with a brand new one. Well, it's actually a used one. I would have done an unboxing video of it, but it came in a, a, just a standard box. So, no unboxing. Um, I do need a screwdriver. Where is it? It's over there. Shit. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's got the screwdriver. So, uh, unclip that and put you in there. Uh, okay, I'm trying to do this with my left hand. I'm right handed, so this is quite tricky. There we go. Doof. Try and pull this out. Uh, I've got to get the clip. Uh, uh, there we go. So that's the card. Nope. It's coming off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's the card, the ATI Radeon. It's 512 megabytes of RAM, but it has near as next to nothing, and it has two DP ports for some reason. I'm not quite sure who thought the display port was a good idea. There we go. The display port was better. It wasn't. I don't know. It, it wasn't a bad card, but it just seemed to lack a ton of features. Although it would play games, uh, some of them were just laggy. And games like Dead or Alive 5 last round, it wouldn't run at all because the graphics card wasn't supported. So. Anyway. God, this is very dusty after just a short amount of time. <sighs> give it a bit of a blowout again. <sighs> anyway, uh, the new graphics card. Uh, where shall I put it? Uh, both slots are the same. I do have another card for this coming uh, in the post. That's also used, so there'll be no unboxing of that. Um, and it will go into the 8 times slot because there's no 1 times slot. And as far as I know, PCI's, PCI Express slots are backwards and compatible, so I can put a 1x in a 16x and an 8x and it'll work, because it only uses the pins that it needs, and then it'll just basically down clock an 8x slot, Is it, no, times 8 it'll down clock the slot to the card speed, so, <laughs> there we go, anyway, um, on to the new graphics card. It's not the best graphics card. I was originally going to get a 10, an EVGA GeForce 1050 Ti, um, but they were super expensive. Um, I was getting the mini one that needs no external power. So instead, I got kind of the next best thing for my budget. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, um, for the next thing for my budget, um, it's this. Booyah. 
That's got a bit fucking static. So, yeah, GeForce GTX 750 Ti, super clocked version with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not... It's obviously an, an improvement over the last graphics card my other PC had, the 730. At least I hope so, and obviously it's a two slot, which the Optiplex was obviously very limited to what you could put in it uh, in terms of graphics card size. Although it supported full height, it didn't support dual slot. And there was a problem with the um, capacitors <laughs> that were down by the slot that prevented the... Um, the thing from fitting and as you know I had to cut a piece of the shroud out although I did do a pretty good job I just, I'm just saying um, so we shall be putting this in it needs no external power so this was second hand and it's in pretty good condition actually I have to admit it was a bit dusty it still has the DP port or display port cover but none of the others does anyone use display port seriously I mean, I would use it, but only if I can find one that supports audio as well. So we shall put this in. I was going to put it in this slot here. Like that one, because it has, like, the graphics card, or this thing here, can sort of lock in place, look. Like that. So it actually kind of holds it in, but I need the 8 times slot, so I'm fucked, I'm <laughs> saying. And I don't want to waste a 16 times slot on a 1 times card, so. We shall pop you. Oh, wait, wait. I need to take out this blanking plate. Actually, I need to put one of them back in as well. So we'll pop you in there. Thankfully, it only it um, covers a PCI slot. I've got two more down there. Not that. Actually, would I need them? I kind of want to go wireless. And then that means I might have to waste, because that would be in use, I might have to waste a slot on a wireless PCI Express card. Mm. Okay, it doesn't want to go in. Oh, oh, that sounded a bit... Come on, there we go. And the good thing about these BTX cases is that the graphics cards face upwards, so you can actually see see everything, rather than just seeing that on an ATX card. Unfortunately, it's upside down. Ooh, the fan blades are a bit dusty. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a bit dusty, the fan blades. We should have given those a bit more of a better clean-up. Okay, and it doesn't want to focus on my finger. <sighs> oh, well, I'll give these a proper clean-out at one point, anyway. So that's now not going to... Oh, it does seem... Actually, it does fit. But you know what? I don't think we need that. It's in there quite securely. So we shall put said screw back in. And screw you back in. Like so. Oh. And pop that back in. Because that was one that was missing. And we shall close the lock. I think. <laughs> Seems a bit off there, like it's a bit tight. Hmm. Actually, no, I think that does fit. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, yeah. Uh... I think it's trying to slot. Oh god, I'm going to do it. Um, I oh know, it does look a little bit crooked there. Oh well, I'll see what I can do. Um, anyway, that's, that's now in. Ugh, I don't like it when the port's like almost touch the bottom is just a bit annoying but oh well I mean when that graphics card is in I will slice on to the end of this some pictures of the performance index before and after so with that card and with that card um, and yeah hopefully 
this, coupled with the other card I'm going to get, will turn this into a pretty decent machine. Obviously, I'm not going to be playing massive games on it, but it's just a bit of a gaming machine. I will be putting a quad core in, and I will be upgrading to 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, yeah. Um, anyway, this video has gone on long enough, so I will leave it there, and I'll just put on some pictures at the end. So, thank you for watching, and I'll return with whatever video is next. And this is the fun part. Installing the shit. Ooh. Who needs 3D vision? Shit. Shit. I... I want that. Actually, no, I don't. It's... I don't need a gaming PC anyway. I have consoles for that. Dusty. This always takes forever. Especially if you don't have .NET framework. But I do, so yay. Anyway, I'll just let this do with this shit and I'll be back with the pictures I promised you. Yay! Tomb Raider! I need to play that. I don't know about that. I'll give it a go. Just to laugh at the facial animations. <laughs> I've never played Mass Effect before. No.